Ja, heute Saisoneröffnungspressekonferenz. Tim Kehler, Löwencoach, ist bei uns. Uh, Tim, you're here since August in Frankfurt. Uh, so, what is your overall impression after the first weeks, the organization, facilities, the team? What is your basic resume of the first couple of weeks here? I've been uh, really pleased with the first uh, seven weeks. It's been a long camp, uh, and I think from the players' perspective, probably a little too long. They're anxious to get going and play games for for real this week. But uh, it's given me a great opportunity as coach to uh, to get to know our guys individually, to get to know the strengths and some of the deficiencies with our team. Um, And as far as the organization and the facility uh, and the way uh, I've been welcomed here in Frankfurt, it's it's been a, a wonderful beginning. Most interesting for the fans might be the blocks, the formations. Uh, have you found your mixture and more so who's going to be the starting goalie? Have you made a decision because both guys played a lot and they played uh, pretty decent? Yeah, the, the real benefit of a longer preseason in the 11 games that we played was to give both Bjorn and Braden opportunities in the net to play and show what they can do. Um, uh, came into uh, uh, into training camp with the ex expectation that uh, Bjorn would be the number one guy. Uh, but And uh, Braden's really made him work for it, though. Uh, I think over the last two weeks, uh, Bjorn has separated himself, and he'll be our starting goalie uh, into uh, Herne next week. But um, we've been really pleased uh, with the performance of both goaltenders. Uh, the competition that's been created there uh, will only serve to make them both uh, better. And with the defense, offense, what do you see there? Blocks, formations, do you like things? Do you, Don't you like some things? Well, it's uh, there's been uh, lots of tinkering with those players, both on defense and up front. We've had players play both positions. I think of a Norman Martins that spent time now as both uh, forward and defenseman, uh, and shown uh, to be very capable in both positions at uh, at certain times. Uh, but it's still a work in progress for me. Uh, I've seen some consistency, and as you talked about in the press conference, uh, probably the only line right now that's set in stone is uh, uh, Wickert uh, with Whitfoth and, and Schaub, I think has been uh, consistently uh, reliable defensively. Uh, they've chipped in with some very timely offense uh, and have shown some great chemistry together. Um, the other lines have shown flashes of, uh, of greatness, and there's been some tinkering uh, with, with those units, and uh, we'll probably continue to do so until we find the right, uh, the right chemistry and mix. You just mentioned a pretty important point here during this press conference. You said, um, I want to have this team at its peak in March and April and not in October and November. So what are your thoughts about that? You, you just mentioned that maybe last year team was on a high in fall autumn, but that's, well, yeah, that might be too early. Well, I think uh, certainly every game that we play, we have expectations for success. We want to win every game we play, and we try and put our best foot forward. But uh, my sense with uh, the media and the fans is there's uh, every time things don't go our way, there's a great amount of concern because everybody is so invested in this team moving up to the DEL2 next year, as certainly I am as coach, and I know the management and ownership of this program is as well. But... Um, within the organization, we realize that there's a process that has to take place, uh, that I think winning is a long-term vision. It's a long-term process. It's not an overnight sensation. And um, uh, my feeling was the team last year was probably playing its best hockey in October and November and perhaps uh, faded in the most critical elements of the season, the most critical times uh, in the postseason. And uh, I'm here to ensure that uh, we see consistent and steady growth and development and we will be playing our best at the most important time. So uh, next weekend, two games, Herne and Ham, probably two teams that should be Quite okay, let's say it that way. The, probably not competing for the first spot or for the first position, but not not the worst teams in with all respect. Um, so, what do you expect of the first weekend? Are you are we happy that you get started too, and not only the players? Uh? Yeah, absolutely. It's it's great that uh, we're playing games now where points uh, count in the standings, and uh, uh, it's it's great to you know, turn over that page and move from preseason into regular season. And you'll see the, you know, throughout the year as, as 
you can move from preseason to uh, regular season to you know the second round of play the intensity will continue to grow and develop uh, the pace of play will continue to improve and the performance of our team uh, at least on plan is to continue to grow and improve improve also uh, so that part for me is really exciting I don't know what specifically to expect uh, in Herne I know it's a team that's been recently promoted I know that the, it's their first home game in in the Oberliga and and they're going to have a, a passionate group of supporters uh, to be uh, uh, battled with our 600 fans I hear that are uh, making the trip to see that uh, first league game which is just so exciting uh, for our group of players but um, as I've said earlier, uh, it's about uh, the way we prepare this week, regardless of who we're playing, uh, preparing the right way, training the right way, uh, with the right mental approach to make sure we're at our best uh, on Friday and, and ready for the challenge in Herne. Yeah, and we wish you all the best and good luck and uh, all the best for the start of the season. All right, thanks, Matthias.